DJ, how does Oliver compliment you as a tight end? Uh, I mean, he's great. He's a great dude. Um, I mean, obviously, he's, he's massive. I don't know if you guys seen him around, but <laughs> the dude's jacked, um, you know, so it's great to be uh, alongside of him and just, you know, just being able to have that uh, in your arsenal is just is, is great, you know, to be able to play. And, and like we did last year with Johnny, you know, is, uh, to be able to play 12 personnel, uh, you know, those two guys to, to be able to have by the side and, and uh, in the tight end room is really a luxury uh, because you don't get many guys as hard nosed as that and then that are willing to uh, put their nose in there and, and, uh, and get, get after somebody. So, Are you approaching OTAs any differently during the contract year? Uh, yeah, no, I mean, that's that's not really anything I'm, fo I'm focused on, you know, I mean, it is what it is. Um, I think that's no secret that um, that's coming up, but, uh, you know, I'm not, that's that's not a focus that I'm, I'm worried about, you know, I'm just out here playing, playing football, having fun with the guys, you know, really uh, enjoying the city of Minneapolis um, and, and trying to get around these fans because this, this is a place obviously I want to be and, um, you know, just uh, everything needs to, uh, needs to work out and so I, 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 uh, I hope to be here for a long time but um, on the same hand you know it's it is a business and there's a, there's a side of that so uh, I, again I don't look at that um, but it, it's great to be here right now. When you talk about the 12 personnel it kind of allows you to line up with slot outside wide receiver was that something that you had to develop in the NFL, lining up at different spots, or were you kind of always good at that? Like, what's kind of the key to that? Um, yeah, you know, it's it is kind of interesting the difference. Um, when I was in college, I was a straight Y, uh, you know, and then coming to the league, that's kind of the, the the foundation that they wanted me to be in Detroit with Matt Patricia was uh, BDF tight end and, and be able to split out, and that's it, it's been in my arsenal uh, for for a long time now, and just to get, being able to get to uh, see route runners do what they do in the slot, you know, I mean. Uh, just even being here and watching JJ for half a year was huge for me. Um, you know, getting tidbits that I can actually do. Obviously, I'm not nowhere near the athletic ability of that guy, but um, just being able to take tidbits from that. And then uh, Danny Amendola was a big guy that um, uh, helped me when I was a young guy. Uh, rookie year was, you know, because he's not the most athletic, most, uh, biggest guy, but he could do some things and attack leverages. The 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 and so just being able to take tidbits from that. So that was. Um, being able to go through, grow through the league um, and, and understanding um, defenses and, and uh, leverages and, and things like that is huge. And then, like I said, just being able to get out here and actually run, be able to see a guy in front of you because you don't get that uh, 12 months out of the year. You really only get it six. And so um, being able to get a step on that is huge. So. You get to pretend you're five foot ten on a couple of those. Right, right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> TJ, what's the biggest thing you guys want to accomplish offensively during these OTAs? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, we just, I think the biggest thing is details. You know, we got a lot of details that um, come in the concept and, and, and can attack the defenses, but um, honing in on those things and then really just being able to dive into this playbook. I mean, you know, we have so much time um, to, to go out there on the field and, and until our first game, but just to be able to get these details and. If you can do that in this during the springtime, you can come into camp and be ready to go on the details, and then now it's just execution and, and talking about things. So uh, I think that's just the biggest thing. Being able, and for me, honestly, it's it's to be here with the guys and um, hang out with the boys and, and just uh, you know kind of get to know everybody. Because you know last year during my three four months here, it was kind of like you know I'm I'm in the playbook. I'm trying to figure out what's going on week to week. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of focused on, on this one thing rather than being able to get to know a guy, you know, and, and understand what they do and um, understand them as a person. So that's been a huge for me is to get out with these guys and um, actually hang out with them outside of the building and, and really um, take a step in that direction with, with the boys, you know. And so that's, that's been a blast for me. I've just been having, like I say, having so much fun in the city of Minneapolis. and getting around these fans and, and, and getting around these boys in the locker room has been a blast. So I, I really can't uh, say I appreciate them enough. You know, it's been, it's been awesome. So.